It was rather by chance, and it was not planned that I ended up talking about women who kill their daughters. But recently, I found out I'm in the same situation. My mother treats me in a cruel way, worse than you could ever imagine. I went through everything that is fatal. I went through sexual um, abuse. I went through psychological violence via mobbing and bossing in so-called putrid dead-end office jobs. But the worst thing is when your own family wants you just drop fudging dead. I said I'd open up more and more. I have avoided during nearly 340 videos to open up about my family, but it's too much now. I don't know with, with how many examples I shall start. One was the core where it really started to be obvious. Three years ago, mom had to go through an operation. So before that operation, I said that I'd uh, visit her so that she explains me things about her house just in the case anything happens. I must explain that I have a sister who is younger than me. The name of the sister is B. B. Yeah? A.B. Like Bertha. The family name. The family name of the mother is also B, like Bertha. The name of uh, my putrid father, who was hated by everyone, is W. So I'm called Mrs. W. In German, I call myself Frau W in this series. So I am the only W in a family of only B ladies. And what additionally um adds is that sister has a daughter whose name you can guess also family name starts with b like buddha so they are uh, um, mat we are kate yeah everyone starting with b and now i do not wonder why i always felt like the last shit in the world in that family. It started in early childhood. I explained that to my psychotherapist. Three years later, the psychotherapist was dead after a short, dreadful illness. This is why I say psychotherapy terribly gone wrong. I won't repeat that experiment. We are on 3.17. So, mom went through operation. My sister works some hundred kilometers away. And she had said to me, she knows that my mom has a violent behavior. Do you remember the expression violent behavior? It dates back to step six. My mom treats me in a way which reminds me enormously. It's just a copy of step 10. So the males full of hatred against me are exactly the same like what my mom writes. I want, I know she wants me to commit the ugly S word, which I may not pronounce. So a small dispute about a really not important thing made her shout at me three years ago and made me shout back to her and then she went to the advocate disinherited me so my sister would get everything and just have to pay me off and then they did not let me know about anything for a whole year until dreadful mom opened up and said what she had provoked so we went back to the advocate and she corrected it so that it's not even equal, but at least a little bit more equal 
but to her, the young Mrs. B, which is her better daughter, B like better, um, Now I have lost the, the thread, but not the sweat. So yesterday she came again, that dreadful mom, with mails full of hatred. And I can no longer do as if everything was all right. I went through everything, through sexual abuse, through mobbing at work. And I think the most dreadful thing is mobbing in the family. I can't do this any longer, Willie. I cannot do this.